All right, guys, so you got everything out of your box there. You got the, obviously, the Amazon Fire TV unit itself. You've got the remote control. You've got the power pack. Now, a couple of extra things you're going to need. Now, depending on your network setup at home, you may need an Ethernet cable because this does accept Ethernet, or you may use Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm actually upstairs, so I'm going to use Wi-Fi, but if you wanted to use Ethernet, obviously, you'd have maybe Ethernet coming from your router or a little switch or a cable modem. You would just want to make the appropriate Ethernet connection to the back of your Amazon Fire TV. There's only one port for Ethernet, so like I said, we're actually going to use the wireless. So, and you're going to also want an HDMI cable. You might already have one coming from your receiver, because if you have a receiver, you're just going to plug in from the Amazon Fire TV to your receiver. That way you can still enjoy your wonderful surround sound. Some of you may not have a receiver and are just going to plug straight in to your television via HDMI. So we've got an HDMI cable there. And there also is an optical audio out, so some people may just choose to run HDMI directly into their TV and then have the optical out into the receiver. Either one will work. So for the purpose of this video, we're actually just going to take that single HDMI cable and we're going to plug that in. We've got a, a Samsung 50-inch LED here. We're just going to plug that into our available HDMI port on the back. So let's go ahead and plug that in real quick. And we've got that plugged in. Now the next order of business, we're going to want to, going to take this power cord, pull that little rubber band off. And you guys know with the power cord here on the back, if you just turn over, there's only one place that connection is actually going to plug in there. Kick that over there. So we'll go ahead and plug that in right there. Power is now plugged in. So I've got a little power pack sitting right here. And this is not obviously my setup, guys. This is just to show you a real simple tutorial. So we plugged in the Amazon box. So we've got HDMI into the television, and we now have the unit plugged into power. You can see that the unit's actually beginning to power up on the television. So let's go ahead and jump over and capture that first look at the UI of the new Amazon Fire TV. All right, guys, we got everything plugged back in there. So here's kind of your first one that fires on. You saw the Amazon Fire TV logo. It says searching for remote. Try placing the remote closer to Fire TV, pressing the home button. We went ahead and put the batteries in. We just have not pressed the actual voice control or home button. So we're going to actually press the home button here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll press the home button on the remote for five seconds. It indicates. Okay. And now the LED is actually beginning to flash on the Fire TV. And you can see there, it says press play to start. Okay. Go ahead and press play to start there. Connect to your network. Now, like we said, you can either choose a wireless or a wired network because there is an Ethernet option. We're actually going to choose a wireless network. I'm actually going to choose the one here in my home, which is WLAN here. A lot of you guys are like, oh, wireless local area network. That's correct because, I, like I said, I'm certified with Cisco, so that's the code. The other available option here, so I don't have to put in a password, uh, is Xfinity Wi-Fi. That's available uh, through Xfinity, but I'm not going to bore you guys with that. So let's go ahead and connect to our WLAN here. Oops, hang on just a second there. I went to the wrong one. You can just hit the return arrow if you make a mistake there on the remote. So let me get back to WLAN here. And we'll go ahead and uh, put in my password here. Let me blank this out for you guys. All right, now that we got our network password in there, we got our connection there to our wireless network, and then you can see there, connection successful. So now we have the Amazon Fire TV connected to our network. It says here, your Amazon Fire TV requires an update. Please do not disconnect from the network or unplug the power cable while we download the update. This is typical of any new device. You know, chances are there's a firmware and or a software update that needs to be pushed since they last developed it. So once it's out and out of the consumers and connecting to their networks, how they're going to use it, you know, there may have been little tweaks or enhancements that Amazon needed to push. So it's going to take this time, and we'll keep this going here just to see actually how long it's going to take here to do the actual update here. And it's actually uh, downloading the latest software as we speak right now. So we'll see how long it's, it doesn't appear that it's actually taking that long. So we'll just let that finish up. And like I said, if it takes too long, we'll just do the power of video editing. We will speed this video up. Extra HD to capture the UI from the Amazon Fire TV. So once it reboots and powers back on, it says, please do not unplug the power cable during the update. So it's actually now installing the latest software. So what it just spent a couple minutes downloading is now going to spend a couple minutes doing the actual installation. 
So we'll let that installation complete so that we can get to onto our next step here. And this is all just part of the installation like we show you in the be showed you in the beginning there, HDMI cable into your television. But if you're running a receiver, you could just run HDMI into your receiver and then still have that same HDMI cable from your receiver to your television. Or you could just run HDMI from the Fire TV to your TV directly. And then maybe down the road you bought a receiver and then you could always run an optical out audio cable from the Amazon Fire TV to that new receiver. So there's a couple different ways to hook it up. Plus, a really cool thing with Fire TV, it's got wireless as well as a wired connection. So for those that want a wired connection, you have that option with the Ethernet port on the back. And those who want wireless, you can do that too. So they did not supply an HDMI cable with this. Kind of surprising, you would think maybe they would, but I get that they wouldn't. They supply, you know, Amazon Basics. Installing the latest software. Make sure you guys register your new Amazon Fire TV. We purchased it from Amazon. You can use your account. It's already registered to you. So we did purchase ours through Amazon under our account. So it's already registered, which is totally awesome. But yeah, we're just, uh, the update here is just getting ready to finish up. Installing the latest software. Please do not unplug the power cable. No, we would not. We do not want to because we want to check it out. But yeah, that, uh, you know, it's got a nice little LED power status LED there on the front of the unit. And you guys see that, you know, when it turns off or back on. But yeah, it's getting ready to boot up here, and here's kind of our first screen here. Most, we can turn up the sound here. And give you so guys we're going to take a quick to tour together that sure will teach you all you about your Fire sound TV. Going there. Fire TV lets you stream a huge amount of entertainment, and the Amazon Fire TV remote lets you access it all. With voice search, you can access the entertainment you love with just this remote and the sound of your voice. It's really pretty cool. Let's get started. Just press and hold this button at the top of the remote, wait for the prompt on screen, and say what you want to watch after the tone. Life of Pi. Your choice shows up instantly. We take your voice information and process it in the cloud to deliver better, quicker search results and to help improve your experience. Use your voice to find movies, TV shows, actors, directors, film categories, even games and apps. An no need to say commands like search or play. Just press and hold the voice search button, say the name, and Fire TV will give you the results you're looking for. Real nice tutorial Huge app. here going. So it's press here a cool to select what you want from the voice search results. And, you know the different buttons. And the, the Fire TV there. remote is simple to use. It's just a nice little the home intro button from Amazon. Kind of takes cool you to your Fire TV's you know, home screen at any this, like time. With the Elgato game and press the back HD. button to return to the previous screen. Press here to navigate up or down, left or right. Press the center button to select. With Fire TV, you can watch hundreds of thousands of movies and TV shows, access exclusive titles, play games, and even listen to music. Fire TV even makes recommendations for other movies and TV episodes that you might enjoy. You can add them, and any movie or TV show you want to watch later, to your watch list and access it on the home screen. Just click right here. If you're an Amazon Prime member, in addition to the shipping benefits and the Kindle Owner's Lending Library, you get unlimited access to 40,000 movies and TV shows all at no extra cost. Not a Prime member? No worries. Right after this video, you're going to get a chance to sign up for a free 30-day you know, trial Prime, so you can try it for yourself. All the movies and everything Next up, right here, gaming. Now in your home theater, With Fire in TV, you can play room, some really totally fun games. Epic. You can use the directional buttons on your remote, or you can use the Amazon Fire Game Controller, sold separately. If you have a Kindle Fire HDX tablet, you can start a video on your HDX, then fling it to your Fire TV and start watching right where you left off. With Amazon Cloud Drive, you can store your pictures and personal videos in the cloud. Then with your Fire TV, you can that access those very, pictures very and videos like, anytime you, know, you want feature, on the big you know, screen. For an Apple okay, or we've iPhone. just scratched the surface of what you're I've going to be able to do. If you want to watch there. this video again or need more help, Go to settings and click on the help button and you'll find what you're looking for. Thank you and enjoy your new Amazon Fire TV. Absolutely, we will enjoy our new Amazon Fire TV. What do you guys think there? Your Amazon Fire TV is designed with kids and parents in mind so we can either enable parent controls or no parent controls. Uh, in my particular application, I don't need parental controls on this unit, so I'm just going to select OK there, the center button of your controller there. And now here we are, guys. Here is the UI. So we've got our home there. 
We've got movies, TV, watch list, video library, games, apps, photos, and our settings. And you guys kind of saw in that beginning intro video there that was put on from Amazon, just kind of how you can navigate, get around, what's available. But I also wanted to kind of show you something a little bit more past that, you know, like you've got, you know, your cloud drive for, you know, Amazon.com, which they've also got the app for iOS or Android. And then if you go all the way down to the bottom, you got your settings like second screen, you know, your account, what you want to sign into. But yeah, this is kind of the first look, the setup, installation, brief tutorial of the Amazon Fire TV. Plus, we wanted to give you a first look at that UI, which is just a gorgeous UI. This unit is fast, it's fluid, it's got a quad-core processor, 2 gig of RAM. It's also got a dedicated GPU, full 1080p. 7.1 Dolby Digital Plus surround sound. It's priced at $99.99. Check the description below for the link to grab one. I would highly recommend picking them up. Wi-Fi built in, Ethernet built in, optical audio. Combine that with voice search on the remote. And if you're already Amazon Prime, you guys know you got access to all your movies already. And then if you guys are Netflix or Hulu Plus, Hulu Plus you can now watch that too. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that first look, first opening tutorial installation setup and first look at the UI of the brand new Amazon Fire TV. If you guys like these videos and you like our tutorials, please give us a thumb up, leave us a comment below. Make sure you check out the unboxing of the Amazon Fire TV. But yeah, see we got like here, let's say for example a Valkyrie. We can click on the Valkyrie there. So we'll click on that. So we can say watch now for Amazon Prime. Yeah, we can do that because we are Amazon Prime. So we could rent there. This is uh, Operation Valkyrie here. I made, Oops, let me hit return there. I bumped the button on accident. Hang on just a second. I want one down there instead of hitting watch now. I clicked one down, so sorry about that, guys. But nonetheless, just wanted to show you guys there. Since we're Amazon Prime, we go into here. And the cool thing is you bought the unit, so it's registered to you. So as soon as you went online, it probably knew who you were and how to get you connected. We selected there on the movie that we wanted to watch there. You know, it's we got the options there. Is this prime? Is it not prime? But yeah, what do you guys think? You know, first look here, tutorial setup, Amazon Fire TV. Brought to you by Fast Electronic and Loud. We do bring it to you, Fast Electronic and, of course, Loud. My name is Ryan Rigg. I am the host of your show. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next episode.